foreign exchange rate and its management. Before the advent of currency as a medium of exchange, the barter system was prevalent. Under this system, there was an exchange of a commodity against a commodity or a service. For example, fish was being traded for wheat. But the barter system had its own set of problems. Let us have a quick look at them. The flaws of the barter system. Wants of trading parties did not coincide. Lack of common measures of value. Indivisibility of certain goods. Lack of specialization. And difficulty in transfer of wealth. Introduction of money. It is truly said that necessity is the mother of all inventions. Thus, it was due to the flaws of the barter system that finally saw the rise of currency as a medium of exchange. A quick look at the advantages of money as a medium of exchange. For everything we buy or sell, a certain price is levied on it. The price is a certain amount of money. Thus, money forms a medium of all exchange for all transactions, be it goods or services. Different countries represent different economies. Each economy has its own unique currency. For example, Indian currency is rupees. Japanese currency is yen. American currency is dollar. Currency helps people of a nation to buy and sell products and services. Thus, currency facilitates the demand and supply chains of a nation. Foreign Exchange At the grassroot level, commodities and services are exchanged via a common medium, namely money. In a similar fashion, Exchange of goods and services at a national level is also indispensable. This is due to the fact that none of the nations are self-sufficient in totality. Also, each nation has its own unique currency, which makes it imperative that a common ground is established for every transaction that takes place. Thus, a ratio is established between each and every currency of the world. For example, as on the 11th of May 2011, ratio between US dollar and Indian rupee was 1 is to 44.68, which means to buy $1, we need to shell out 44.68 Indian rupees. This forms the basis of the foreign exchange system. Management of foreign exchange the management of foreign exchange mainly involves valuation and devaluation of a nation's domestic currency against the other foreign currencies. The exchange of one currency for another or the conversion of one currency into another currency is foreign exchange. Foreign exchange also refers to the global market where currencies are traded virtually round the clock. The term foreign exchange is usually abbreviated as Forex and occasionally as FX. Valuation of currency. Suppose the exchange rate between the US dollar and the Indian rupee is one dollar is equal to 50 Indian rupees. If the government wishes to increase the value of our currency by two rupees, the resultant rate would be one dollar is equal to 48 Indian rupees. Hence, in simple words, one US dollar could be procured by shelling out 50 rupees. But post valuation, the same can be procured for 48 rupees, which is in fact costing us 2 rupees less. In other words, the rupee has become expensive with regard to the US dollar, as one US dollar, which earlier could have bought 50 rupees, 
can now just buy 48 rupees. Currency devaluation takes place when one country's currency is reduced in value in comparison to other currencies. After currency devaluation, greater quantity of the same currency is required in order to purchase the same amount of other currencies. For example, as of date, 1 US dollar is equal to 50 rupees. In case our government wishes to reduce the value of our currency by 2 rupees, the resultant rate would be 1 US dollar is equal to 52 rupees. Hence, in simple words, initially, 1 US dollar could be purchased by shelling out 50 rupees. But, post devaluation, the same could be procured by shelling out 52 Indian rupees. Thus, dollar has become expensive by 2 rupees. Effects on import and export 1. When the rupee becomes expensive against the dollar, it has a positive effect on the imports and negative effect on the exports. The imports have become cheaper and exports have become expensive. A hypothetical example for the same. 2. When the rupee becomes cheap against the dollar, it has a negative effect on imports and positive effect on exports. Imports become expensive and exports become cheaper. Gold Reserve A gold reserve is the gold held by a central bank or a nation intended as a store of value and as a guarantee to redeem promises to pay depositors, note holders or trading peers or to secure a currency. The Reserve Bank of India holds 557.7 tons of gold as on 2010. Foreign Exchange Reserve Certain currencies are treated as reserve currencies. Such reserve currencies are often held in central banks and can be used to intervene in the markets to support the home currency. In an open market system, central banks of each nation try to own maximum quantity of their home currency as a measure to safeguard its economy from the onslaught of other nations. This action helps to stabilize the value of the domestic currency. Large reserves of foreign currency allows a government to manipulate exchange rates, usually to stabilize the foreign exchange rates and thereby provide a more favorable economic environment. Thus, the greater a country's foreign reserves, the better position it is in to defend itself from speculative attacks on the domestic currency. To summarize, before the advent of currency as a medium of exchange, the barter system was prevalent. Under this system, there was an exchange of a commodity against commodity or a service, but the barter system had its own set of problems. It was these flaws in the barter system that finally saw the rise of currency as a medium of exchange. Different countries represent different economies. Each economy has its own unique currency. Currency facilitates the demand and supply chains of a nation, the exchange of one currency for another, or the conversion of one currency into another currency is foreign exchange. Currency devaluation takes place when one country's currency is reduced in value in comparison to other currencies. Against this, currency valuation takes place when one country's currency increases in value in comparison to other currencies. The currency of a nation is backed by sufficient gold reserves by the central bank of a nation. A gold reserve is the gold held by a central bank or a nation intended as a store of value and as a guarantee to redeem promises to pay depositors, note holders, trading peers or to secure a currency. 
Each nation has to stabilize its own currency rate and tries to have a maximum amount of foreign exchange reserve. How about learning some interesting facts? Here are some interesting facts about countries and their forex reserves.